guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what I wanted to go over was TXV bulb placement. All right. So most manufacturers are, are they might say, you know, you can mount the TXV bulb at 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock. You know, they all have different areas, you know, whether it's a, a 3 o'clock and 10 o'clock. For the most part, you know, for the most part, it's not going to matter where you're putting this at. Obviously, follow manufacturer's directions. That'll get you to the exact, exact amount uh, or the exact spot that they're looking for, all right? Um, but basically, just for the most part, if you don't know where to put it at, just don't put it on the bottom, okay? Horizontal is supposed to be the best, the best spot, you know, instead of vertical, but you can put it vertically too. All it's really doing is there's refrigerant inside the sensing bulb, and you're heating it up or it's it's getting cooler okay when it's cooler all right it applies less force on the txv to open the txv all right uh, when it's hotter it applies more opening force on the txv so it's imperative that you get a nice good uh, solid connection between the pipe and the txv bulb okay you can think about this bulb as a small refrigerant bottle okay liquids at the bottom vapors at the top all right so if you do install this vertically you want to have the tubes on the top because typically manufacturers want the vapor applying pressure to the head they don't want uh liquid there at the head all right with vapor behind it trying to press it so you typically are going to install the txv bulb vertically with the um, tubes up all right but if you're installing it horizontally you, you, you would still like to have the tube up, okay? Uh, the tube that has the refrigerant in it, not the stub out, okay? So the one that has a refrigerant, you'd like to have that up, okay? And really, it doesn't matter too, too much where it's located at, whether it's right here, you know, or all the way over to here. You just don't want to have it necessarily on the bottom just because they say there could be a, like a, a amount of refrigerant oil, and there, and there is, you know, we've all cut... Um, apart lines after we recovered the refrigerant out we find there's a bunch of oil on the bottom okay so the oil could uh, create some insulation value and it might be half a degree off for this sensing basically this this right here is helping the txv sense to control the superheat across the entire evaporator coil okay so any of this is going to work if you don't have manufacturer's literature telling you where to apply this at all right the next thing I find a lot of times these things are zip tied on. The TXV bulb might just have one small uh, plastic zip tie on it, and that's not good enough. All right, it it can actually you can actually have some space between. So I don't know if you're able to pick that up with the camera or not, but there's a little bit of space between the bulb and the pipe right there. All right, so even if I'm holding it tight, there could be light visible through there which means it's not having very good surface contact the less surface contact the more that this bulb could be sensing uh, a temperature that's not quite accurate compared to what the suction line actually is all right so now you see a lot of the manufacturers are pressing the suction lines in they're actually um, pressing it in and making it so that there's more surface area for the bulb to connect to all right so instead of just connecting on just one little side it's kind of coming around um coming around on on uh almost like a semi-circle right there right in order to apply more surface area to uh have more heat transfer all right so um if you if you don't have the copper straps okay that the manufacturer typically recommends copper straps so you don't over tighten the bulb onto the pipe all right so you, they don't want you to crush the bulb when making surface contact so obviously a zip tie is not going to do it all right, I'm outside adding a refrigerant or checking the refrigerant charge, and I see something's just not right. All right, um, um, when I'm adding refrigerant, nothing seems to happen. You know, the head pressure is going higher, but I, I notice that I go inside and I cut the insulation away, and this is not making good contact with the suction line. Okay, so it's inaccurate. All right, but uh, if you don't have the copper straps, which you could use uh, to tighten this, and typically manufacturers will give you those. Um, when you have a new TXV, you can use stainless steel hose clamps. All right. The biggest thing with this is don't tighten them with a drill. I typically try to oval them before installation so that I don't want to have my screw on the top. I want to have my screw 
say on the side. All right, actually, I use two of them. All right, I have the screw on the side so that the long part that's rigid is going to be from the bulb to the pipe. All right, so we can just go ahead and tighten that up. Biggest thing is you don't want to over tighten this because you can and you will squish that copper pipe. All right. You don't want to leak any refrigerant out of the TXV bulb, all right? So a lot of, most manufacturers might say 10 to 2, so that's where we're putting it at, right about 10 o'clock. Tighten up a little at a time, all right? Especially when it's uh, a TXV bulb is installed outside of the quill box. So say the quill box is here and this is outside of the quill box, you want to use some foam tape on it, all right? Some sticky foam tape, all right? Or you can wrap the Armaflex that's typically around here over top of this and zip tie it on. Make sure it's completely tight around there so that it's not sensing the um, conditioned air within the house or the building. All right, so that's one way that you can install it, right? So like I said, anywhere's in the sides or the top. And if you don't have a spot to install it, going horizontally maybe due to braze joints like this braze joint here or you know if this was brazed in you don't want to be setting the txv bulb across the braze joint all right because you're going to limit the surface contact once again all right you're going to want to try to get this bulb pretty close to where you're taking your um, vapor pressure reading at right here for for the bulb this is the external equalization line all right for the txv so you don't want to go a crazy distance away. This TXV, the bulb actually was installed, I believe, back here, okay, inside the quill box. But even inside the quill box, you're going to find that some manufacturers, when you have factory installed TXVs, some are going to have the bulbs insulated and some are not, okay? So if you're doing it yourself, I would always typically recommend at least foam taping it, even if it's on the inside of the quill box, just to get the most accurate uh, temperature reading possible. Okay. All right. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.